Well, hello, this is Rochelle. Welcome to my channel. So thankful today that we can dive back into our Genesis study. And as we're doing Genesis 41, um, this is all about where Joseph uh, got to execute the interpretation of the dream or the plan with the interpretation of the dream that Pharaoh had. So I'm using my gold faber. This is Faber style gold faber aqua um, pencils, which means that they are water soluble and the pigment is activated with water to be like water paint. Uh, so I'm drawing an image in my head that I see as a barn. <laughs> we don't really have big barns here in South Africa the way that we do with it, like these traditional ones we see in the United States. Uh, we, but the, we do have silos and, and things that we store grain and, th and other um, products in uh, but this is I, I wanted to do the traditional <laughs> American barn uh, in this picture so uh, I googled drawing a barn and this is an image that I am eyeballing from there so just using that gold favorite pencil uh, they erase pretty easily with this dust free eraser also from Faber Castell uh, and then I'm just giving it some color coloring it in a bit in those lines that I'm going to activate with uh, my aqua brush so that we can have that intense uh, beautiful watercolor effect on this outlines and then I'm going to use that same color to color it in but very softly so that it has a different uh, media look to it. That sound is wind rustling through trees. I'm outdoors today uh, recording this voiceover. How much fun is that? I'm so privileged to be able to walk around outside <laughs> and do a voiceover. I'm looking at it as a privilege at the moment while I wait for sound. <laughs> to be um, upgraded we are going to have to upgrade my sound um, and on that I want to thank you guys so much for supporting me um, on this channel and helping me grow um, so that we've reached a place where <laughs> I need to get sound uh, of some sort to make this a bit more uh, consistent so I've used that color and then I'm like I said I'm just going to color it in and then uh, I'm going to use some earbuds I don't know what you call them earbuds cotton buds <laughs> um, cotton swabs I don't know what are they called <laughs> so I'm going to use some of them and cluster them together with an elastic to look like the heads of grain and then I'm just going to smudge it in um, some Faber Castell gelatos which I mixed with water to get some various colors here and then I'm going to sm smudge it down on some stalks that I that I drew with a Faber Castell Pit Artist pen. And on the top there, I'm going to just place these clusters of cotton swabs, cotton buds, earbuds, those things. <laughs> um, on the verse today, or the passage today, you know, I love how God had a plan for. For Joseph's life even before uh, the you know his birth God had a plan for him and the plan wasn't smooth sailing like our lives <laughs> there were seven years of abundance and Joseph because of God's plan for him was exalted to be the administrator for um, Pharaoh in Egypt at that time in such a way that when the rest of the world had famine in the seven lean years Joseph's plan for Egypt had them be so prosperous that other um, places came to buy from them and so we see God's provision even in an early age for Joseph with a plan for his life and and for that of of um, the reconciliation with his family later and so I'm so thankful that God has made a plan if you've yet heard me say that a few times in this video, I'm going to say it again. God has made a plan. He has already provided for you. You do not need to worry. He knows what you need even before you need it. And so today, trust in Him. Trust in His goodness for your life. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.